Almost every year, the nation stops to think about the war meant to end all wars, but that did nothing of the sort. This year, the names of our most recent fallen were added to the Roll of Honour in Canberra. Nine soldiers killed in Afghanistan. The Chief of the Defence Force paying tribute and thanking their families. Your sacrifice is understood and will not be forgotten. You remind us that today's ceremony is not only about generations past, but about our generation, our times and our today. Australia's newest Victoria Cross recipient understands only too well the sacrifices of serving. That minute silence I was thinking about obviously the boys that are still deployed. I think about my family that's served um, previously as well. Corporal Daniel Kieran paid his respects in Sydney where the sun shone down on the cenotaph. Navy blue and white filled Martin Place, usually bustling with business people. Today it was a place of quiet reflection to imagine the feeling of that bittersweet moment when World War I fighting formally ceased. That relief, that joy of the, at the deliverance from war was balanced by the agony and the loss and the bereavement of loved ones lying in foreign fields. A sentiment that will be echoed around the world in coming hours. While the last remaining World War I veteran died earlier this year, the tens of millions who served are now being remembered by their children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. A day to remember of great loss and great time. It's really important to come out and remember our soldiers, um, both, both past and future. And many Australians did from all generations, vowing not to forget those who fought and those who fell. Marion Ives, World News Australia.